let's see a couple of common error messages that people encounter in Perl and uh, what they really mean. Uh, unfortunately, I think the error messages that Perl gives are, while probably correct, they are not that useful for beginners. So beginners have to learn what the meaning of these uh, error messages uh, are and um, accordingly do what to do. So let's see the first one. You might get an error message like this, global symbol $x or some other variable name requires explicit package name at and then the name of the file and the name of the line. So while this is true that, that it, uh, it can be used with an explicit package name, but most likely what you're missing is the declaration of $x, $x uh, using my. So it's most likely that what you're missing is declaring it with my $x. Of course, it might be that uh, you have a typo, so you created a type some very variable name that was already declared, but in this case you made a typo, and uh, therefore Perl thinks that it's a new de new variable, or it's, it's a new variable, but it hasn't been declared. So be careful, not just blindly declare variables that, that get this error message. Uh, instead of then trying to find out why was this uh, name used, in the better uh, whether you had a typo or not. Then the other thing, use of initials value $x in and then again file name and the line number. Uh, now I think this is, um, yeah, so this, this can happen when ver value in $x is undef. And while not all, every operation requires that you will have a value in the variable, but most of them do. And for example, when you try to print out a variable and it, it needs to have a value in it. If it doesn't, uh, and a value that is different from undef, if it doesn't, then you will get this, this value. So this uh, error message means that you have undef, you don't have a, a value in it. Now, why do you, uh, you don't have? Maybe you have never assigned a value to that variable. Maybe if you call the function that assigned the value, but that function for some reason returned undef. Maybe you don't expect it, but that's probably what happened. So these are at least two. Then uh, this one, main x used only once, possible typo at. So this one I think you can't get if you are using strict because uh, then you will have to declare your variable. But um, the, the thing is that this probably uh, refers to $x or, or maybe a dollar or at $x or some other variable we haven't learned about arrays yet, but this probably talks about the x variable main is the is the name of the package we don't really talk about it until uh, much later but uh, this is the ma name of the main package of the name name main code that you're writing which is unclear again for someone who's just beginning and uh, haven't learned it yet but this basically means that uh, you you have used that variable only once and you probably haven't declared it with with my and obviously have using a variable only once is uh, not really a good idea. You can either assign a value to it or you take a value out of it. Uh, probably you had a typo. So unless you just had a value and then you wanted to later write a code to, to reuse it, uh, which is just you're in the middle of, of code writing, then it's probably a typo. So that's what it says. Now this one, can't locate and then some name here in at ink and then the long long list of stuff the directories actually so we don't ha we haven't learned all this stuff yet at ink is basically uh, a list of places where Perl is looking for for extensions for modules and then you will try trying probably to load this module you probably have something like use and the uh, module name x in your code and and the thing is that Perl can't find that module now why can it find i'm not sure it can depend you know, on various things. Maybe you made a typo in the name of the module, and so it can't find it. Maybe you installed the module somehow, but in a different place, not in the standard place of at ink. And in some rare cases, you might actually have a broken installation of Perl. And I encountered this. Yeah, probably if you're using uh, standard distributions from Linux system or Strawberry Perl or some standard other, other standard Perl distribution, then you won't encounter such problem of broken Perl, but this can happen oft often. Uh, now, if you get uh, something like this, scalar found were operated expected, uh, I think the most common 
case of this is when you are missing a comma from somewhere and then that place is, is where, where it's, uh, there should be an operator and comma is an operator so it's, uh, it's a quite usual case that you happens to programmers. In general one thing about uh, error messages that many times uh, they say that one uh, certain line but in many cases it's a missing semicolon from the previous line. So these are m some of the common error messages. If you find more then just let me know and then I'll explain them too.